The interdictor cruiser Red Claw was badly damaged during our last battle with the pirates. Modified corvette Trometti will deliver replacement parts and pick up the TIE Defender scientist and our pirate prisoners. You will fly a barrier patrol around the Red Claw and the corvettes while the docking operations are done. Then you must ensure that the TIE Defender scientist is safely evacuated out of the area. You will be assisted by the remaining TIE bombers and TIE interceptors from interdictor Red Claw. Two Lorinar strike cruisers are en route to aid Red Claw. They will arrive in 30 minutes. You are to protect the Red Claw while a pair of modified corvettes from Squadron pick up the TIE Defender research scientist and prisoners captured during your last mission. Critical replacement parts for the interdictor's hyperdrive are being delivered by the corvettes as well. The scientist's safety is of paramount importance though and you are to ensure a safe transfer. You will fly assault gunboat Mu-1. For this mission, your craft is armed with the standard load of 16 advanced concussion missiles. Also, you will have the new improved tractor beam. Red Claw's last six ties will be on patrol, and four more gunboats from Tau Squadron are due to arrive soon. The Raniki pirates have all been captured or killed, but Tarak's group may attempt a rescue. We've learned from our captives that the pirates had also negotiated with Zarin for the scientist's ransom. This suggests that Zarin may have information concerning the deal we made, maybe even its location. It is even possible that the pirates may have been planning some sort of deception of their own involving Admiral Zarin. We may not have much time before he sends an attack force to this location. As you well know, the greatest threat would be from any Thai defenders. In such a circumstance, do your best to protect the corvette that is to pick up the scientist and escort it to safety. Hey guys, welcome back to some more TIE Fighter. Now, I'd just like to duck back into that talk with a flight officer and point out... You are to protect the Red Claw while a pair of modified corvettes from Squadron pick up the TIE Defender... From Squadron? Not from Chimetti Squadron? No, just from Squadron. What? Okay, let's let's go have some fun. This mission is a bitch. So first thing we're gonna do is we gotta spin around, and then go to the right. Okay, and then we're going to call for reinforcements immediately and charge up everything and then kind of drop my shields and lasers actually so I can go as fast as possible. That sounds suspicious. Just a little bit suspicious. Just a tiny bit. Just the smallest amount. Anyway, we're going to set advanced concussion missiles to dual fire. We're going to keep up our speed, and oh look, Gamma, Delta, um, Beta, 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 so we're going after Gamma. So I've dropped off the beam weapon as well, which I should have done in the first place, but I didn't, and so now we're not as quick as we should be. He's gonna tell us what everyone's attacking. Right, so going after um, Gamma first, because Chimetti 1 isn't going to be able to survive, uh, you know, being, out, being attacked by these guys, whereas the guys going after the Red Claw will be able to survive, the guys going after us, I mean, we can dodge missiles, right? That's why we called for reinforcements, you know? Okay. And now we keep on going. So now we go after Beta, which is just on the other side over there. And then we go as quickly as we possibly can. Uh, but this is the point where we, you know, 
wish that we were in like a gun, uh, not gun boat, a missile boat. Because the missile boat has a slam system which drains power from your lasers to like double or triple your speed. It's great fun. Uh, but we don't get to fly that just yet. Okay, so there's beta 3. Um, beta 3, beta 1. Right, it's going to go after beta 1. Uh, so, I think one missile will take a TIE Defender down to, like, 20%, 30% shields. Oh dear. I want to shoot those down. Nope. No such luck. Okay. But, okay, here's... He's gonna die, because I'm gonna get right on his ass, and I'm gonna drop this missile on him. I just want... Do I want to lock, or do I just want to trust that he's not gonna pull away? Shit. There we go. Okay. Now let's get some shields up in this bish. And... Rally Delta. Um... Any more betas left? <laughs> no, no more betas left going after Delta. Okay, we want to get rid of these guys as quickly as we can. And for that purpose, we are using missiles, and we're going to get our beam regen on as well. Um, also, we want to avoid being hit by enemy missiles. Cool, and a good way to... Good way to deal with these guys is to... Right, where are we? Be ready with a beam weapon. So, have your, have your target lock starting to happen. Hit them with a beam weapon, so they can't pull away from it. And then, as soon as it goes red... You're good, but I also like to hold them in place a little bit, so then they can't try and dodge away from that. Okay, what do we got? Another one? Okay, and also as long as they're not aiming at you, they'll be good. Right, Alpha 1, where are you? Okay, hold them in place. At the very least, that'll let my teammates hit them with their lasers. And then also my missiles. There he goes. Right, and Alpha 2 as well. He's got one missile going after him already, so I'm only going to hit him with one. Which should deal with him. There we go. And that is all she wrote for uh, for those guys, anyway. Let's get all that laser power into our uh, shields. And what am I looking for? What I'm looking for hasn't arrived yet. Okay, well, we've done really, really well there. Or I've done really, really well there. Uh, you guys, great job on watching. Uh, but the g mission's not over yet. We we need to continue on. Um, so the scientist has been loading onto the Chimedi 1. So he's going to be safe. That's good. Um, so it's supposed to be like a combat utility vehicle that we can reload missiles at. And I'm a little bit... Annoyed that he's not here. Maybe if I fire my missiles, he will launch. Yeah, there he is. CV Rover. Okay. Um, do you want to board me, buddy? Board me. There we go. Just because we want full missiles. Because uh, there's more stuff coming, you know? The Red Claw is not out of here yet. Oh my god, he's still got... She's got shields left! Yeah! That's brilliant. Okay, and just gonna make sure we can get over to this guy and get refueled. Wow, we dealt with those tight defenders really quickly. That's never happened to me before. Normally, I'm still fighting them. I had, I had a lot of time doing this mission yesterday, by the way, um, because I'm normally I normally play ahead in like a personal profile, playing ahead to so that when I go and do this. Strike crews 
Okay, so plot twist. Uh, like I said, that guy's a little bit suspicious. Anyway, so I normally like to pre-play this at least a little bit, so that when it comes time to actually record for you guys, I know what I'm doing, so I don't have to record for like two hours in order to actually get a good take. But of course, as you know, sometimes it doesn't go to plan, and I end up um, having to beat my head against a wall in order to get anything done. So, beam weapon's been normalized. I'll normalize the lasers. I've just realized that I've got the music volume on, and I really shouldn't have the music volume on because I want to avoid those, like, copyright strikes and stuff. So I'm just going to turn that off, and I'm going to upload this video, and then hopefully it won't get a copyright strike because, you know, that's a terrible, terrible thing. And I'm sorry if you were jamming out to the tunes, but, uh, yeah. Like, what can I say? All right, so there's going to be... These TIE Advanced, which is better than, you know, TIE Defenders. So, Ada and Theta. I'm gonna go after... which ones? I'm gonna go after Theta, I think. Because Ada is going after Interceptors. Theta is going after the Red Claw, and if the Red Claw dies, we lose. So, they're a little bit more important at the moment in terms of target priority. I'm also going to drop my shields and lasers so I can get there quickly, get a lock, fire, drop in behind them, get a lock, fire, because tie advance are very, very fast and I can't keep up with them unless I drop everything. Um, also, my teammates are being destroyed, which is bad. Uh, generally, generally speaking, it's a bad thing. And... Oh! Oh, that was good. That was a very good point blank shot. I'm good. I'm good at this game. I'm good. I'm great. Come on. Come on. Brilliant. Okay. What's next? Ada. Okay. Okay. Okay, we got this. We got this. We got a red lock now, and we fire. And then. We're gonna hit him with a beam weapon as well, just so we can't escape. There we go. Alright, Ada 2. Okay, we got this. This will be fine. This will be fine. Come on. Come on. Oh dear. Hold him. Hold him. Hold him. Nice. 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 Where's Ada 3? There he is. Hello, friend. Oh god, it's in that thing where it's hard to... Okay, look. I'm just gonna swing around. Whoop! Whoop! Oh! Oh! I hit him. Uh, one missile. In that case. Just because he's been reduced a little bit. And Excellent. there it goes. Oh wow, Zeta one now. Uh, double shots. Getting our speed up. Mule the core is doing pretty well. Um, okay, uh, Zeta, wow, well, there's three of them. Oh, so is this guy just gonna keep on launching? Okay, well, Ada 3 is back there, so I'm gonna assume that he's gonna keep on launching shit at us. So, hopefully he's... Okay, what's that aimed at? Chimedi 1. Oh dear. Oh dear. Please don't uh, be ruining my day. Oh, come on, 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 come on. Come on. Let me do it. Okay. Okay, no, I won't. Okay, you with a single missile. Because you're so far away. Please don't blow up my interdictor. Um. Good work, Mew One. Okay, brilliant. That's everything. Cool. So now I'm gonna flick over to the Strike Cruiser Kopsh. It's not the Kopesh, is it? Mew One boarding operation complete. That's good. Okay. So I'm gonna balance that out. I'm gonna target his warhead launcher, and I'm gonna see about blowing this guy up. I'm also gonna drop power from my beam weapon. And I should probably put some power into my lasers at some point. Um, I know it. Yeah, sweet. So we're gonna be able to get a shot, at least one shot off. And then I'm also gonna put some laser power back. And we're gonna get laser cannons. So we should be able to blow up his warhead launcher with those missiles. Du -du 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 -du. Sweet. 
Um, I think those missiles may have missed the warhead launcher and just smacked into his hull plating. It, it's fine. It's fine, really. I mean, this destroying this is not actually a part of the mission. Um, at least not a part of the mission that we have to do. This is just, like, bonus points. Um, so... As soon as we can actually hit him... I don't know. There we go. Pound away. Yeah? So we should be able to sit right here and not get shot. Whoop! Right here and not get shot. Nice. And then we just have to cycle between hitting him with ion cannons and lasers. We pump up our shield regenerate as well, just so we've got shields regenerating and we don't want to be pulling power from our lasers to do so. And then we just sit here and he dies. And of course once his shields go down we switch over to the ion cannons to make sure that he's disabled so that he can't go to hyperspace or anything, and then he can't move to then hit us with lasers, or something like that. And that's all we've got to do. Cool, or I'm just gonna blow this guy up and then then I'll head off. So I'm going to... Just do that. It all just burns through a little bit faster. No! Damn it! See if I hadn't, if I hadn't stopped firing to listen to the guy talk, I could have done it. But eh, whatever. He went off type space. It's no big loss, really. It's just points. It's not actually part of the mission. Anyway, that's that. Um, Utility Tug Rover died, unfortunately, so he didn't get that bonus goal. But that's not one of the ones which gives us a sweet tattoo, so I'm not really worried about it. It's just a bonus goal. Um, I guess if you want to make sure that, that survives after you reload with missiles, you can order things to return home. I think it's Shift-H. and be like, go home, and that way... Um, if he hyperspaces away, he can't get destroyed, so... Yeah, either, either way. That's that! You succeeded in seeing the scientist to safety. Unfortunately, it was on the wrong ship. We were the victims of a skillful deception that could only have been accomplished by Zarin or his henchmen. The strike force you defeated must have been intended primarily as a distraction. In the heat of the battle, it kept us from looking too closely at the ship that took the scientist. Your role in saving the Red Claw from destruction will probably save you from the wrath of Lord Vader. The captain of the Red Claw will not be so lucky. Yeah. So, there's an opening for the ship's captain on Red Claw now. Uh, uh, you know, you failed me for the last time sort of stuff going on. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time when we... Fly, I think it's tie advanced. I think it's tie advanced. Either way, bye.